and to details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi inaugurated on Wednesday the fertilizers factory complex in Alain Sukhna. During the inauguration ceremony, President El Sisi stressed that the manufacturing sector needs huge efforts and large amounts of funds. The president pointed out that industrial development requirements include natural gas resources. President El Sisi said that 50,000 cubic meters of Red Sea water are processed for the use in Alain Sukhna fertilizers complex daily. The head of the state noted that Egypt is racing against time to add new 3.5 million fedans to its agricultural lands, adding that the state is working to process agricultural waste water for reuse in reclaimed lands. The president asserted that new agricultural projects require the establishment of advanced water processing plants to reuse agricultural waste water. President El Sisi also said that Egypt over the previous years has been working to provide such priorities in order to achieve industrial development. Addressing the inauguration ceremony of the new plants at Al Ain Sukhna Fertilizers Complex, Minister of Agriculture Al Sayed Al Qusair said that the Egyptian state had adopted the expansion in strategic crops cultivation in order to achieve food security for Egyptians. The minister added that despite the disruptions in supply chains due to the Ukraine crisis, Egypt managed to secure essential needs of strategic crops. He asserted that his ministry continues to provide fertilizers fertilizers subsidies for small sized farms. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli attended on Wednesday the signing ceremony of agreements between the Transportation Ministry and several leading global sea navigation companies. Under the agreements, franchise deals will be granted to a consortium of global companies for building, operating and maintaining two container stations in the seaports of Al Dikhila and Al Ain Sukhna. Minister of Transportation Kamil Al Wazir addressed a press conference following the signing ceremony. The minister stressed that the revenues of the two agreements reach $5 billion.